James Kaufman, World News Report, today, February 19th, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two space rocks flying between the Earth and the Moon. One today that's going by just about right now. And the other one to fly by again on the 21st. The second rock will also go right between the Earth and the Moon. Let's talk about the first rock. 2025 DF. 2025 DF is about 30 feet in diameter, moving very slow. And it's really not at any inclination whatsoever. You can see that today is the big day. I'm guessing they spotted it yesterday, but we'll confirm that. Again, it's flying right between the Earth and Moon, about 30 feet in diameter, moving very slowly with no inclination. It should not be a problem. Again, it's several thousand miles away from Earth. Let's find out more about this rock. And it looks like they have a pretty good handle on this rock. So like it is flying by, condition code 5 here. When did they first see it? But of course they first saw it on the 17th. And the solution date here is the 19th, i.e. they released the information today after 76 observations. It was first seen by our AI software, as you can see here. Again, a decent sized rock moving very slow with no inclination. Shouldn't be a problem whatsoever, even if it were to hit Earth's atmosphere, and I, I would assume it would burn up at that time. All right, next up for the 21st here, about 48 hours, you can see 2025 DQ, we'll call it Dairy Queen. Again, this rock is, well, on the same trajectory as the other rock. It's probably following the other rock based on the trajectory here. Very little inclination. This rock is even smaller than the other rock, probably about 15 feet in diameter. So it's not going to really be a problem for Earth. Again, flying between Earth and the moon on the 21st. And this rock is moving a little bit faster at about 7 kilometers per second. Whereas the first rock was moving closer to 4 kilometers per second, one of the slowest space rocks I've ever seen. And this one's going to be, well, they're fairly certain of where this is headed as well. Condition code 6, 9 being highly uncertain, 0 meaning they know exactly where the rock's headed. They first spotted this rock yesterday on the 18th, solution date today on the 19th. Only 13 observations spotted by our AI software, but of course, without it, we wouldn't see a thing that went by. Again, this one's headed in between Earth and the Moon, almost directly between the two of them on the 21st. We'll get a flyby time on the 21st if we can. All right, they've extrapolated pages of data and flyby information from 13 observations here of 2025 DQ, Dairy Queen. And it looks like we are shooting for a February 21st Earth flyby at 17.55 UTC time, which is going to bring us to about 11.55 or right at noon on the 21st. Now, it looks like it's going to be slightly closer to the moon than Earth, based on this information here. And you can see it's moving right at 7 kilometers per second, as I first indicated. Again, this rock is only about 15 feet in diameter, they think. Condition code is a 6, which is, well, fairly acceptable. And it's not moving real quick at all at 7 kilometers per second. And again, it's not very large, either under 20 feet in diameter. So although we have two space rocks headed between 
Earth and the Moon, I don't think either should pose a problem for Earth itself. With that said, God bless you guys. Share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible. Bizarro World.